So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to catch shy coyotes. On this farm, I've caught three coyotes off this place so far, and um, they're starting to shy away from the dirt hole sets, so I'm going to make it a little bit easier for them to get caught without being shy to a big three inch or one inch dirt hole. I literally had a coyote walk by one of my sets last night and didn't didn't even entertain the idea of going next to that dirt hole. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this show on the road and show you guys how to catch a shy coyote. All right, so there's fresh coyote tracks on this road bed, road bed. I've got two dirt holes up to my, up the road to my right in an intersection. And I've also got a dirt hole to the left of me in another intersection. The one that the coyote walked by last night is on my right. Nothing walked by the set on my left. So I'm gonna put, there's old scat here as you can see. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a a hole right here literally punched my rebar into the hole to the ground I'm gonna put the trap right here and I'm gonna show you all show you how I'm gonna blend it in to where it'll catch this shy coat on this kind of set you don't want to leave any kind of fresh looking dirt so all the dirt that you get out of that bed that you're making clean it up you don't want it to look like anything's been right here digging if that makes sense and it is possible to do that All right, we got a little wobble in it. We'll fix that. With our wax dirt. Pick up on the leaf springs. If I can grab it. A little shimmy shimmy. Still got a little bit of a wobble to it. You can use the covering ground for your advantage, or to your advantage, I should say. Now do we got wobble? Negative. Now, this is where it gets kind of tedious. I'm putting just enough on there where it blends the uh, only the part where it's wax dirt. That's it. So that's all. I'm gonna push down on it, avoiding that pan. Lightly press where the pan was at. Okay. Now take all that dirt and we're getting rid of it. Don't need it no more. Now this is the fun and or tedious part. Now I went and got a ball of grass. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it up into really small pieces. I say small, probably like half an inch length. Half an inch to one inch, it doesn't have to be exact. And then we're gonna to toss the salad of grass clippings that we've got. And this is what we're gonna to use to blind it in. Make it a blind set, pretty much all we're doing. But you wanna do it enough to where it looks natural, if that makes sense. You don't want it to look out of place. Now that kind of blends in with the other grass patch that was already here and there's a grass patch here. So now I'm going to take my uh, smaller rebar and I'm going to punch a hole. Get some of these grass clippings, I'm going to throw it around it. It's on the edge here. Like I said, I don't want this to be obvious whatsoever. I want it to be very subtle. So I got one set there. I'm gonna do a triangle here. Put two more holes on these either sides. Get some bait put in there. It's a blind punch hole set is essentially the best way I know to explain it. We're not going to use any bait products, but we are going to use some lures. In this hole, I'm going to put some canine force by Cavens. Down in this hole. And then I'm going to put some Terminator, also made by Cavens, 
down that hole. And then Vixen Elixir by Hoosier Trapper Supply down that hole. I'm gonna take sheet's wool. And push the sheet's wool down the holes. Maybe. Not very far, but far enough. And then like I said, I'm gonna cover it up with the grasses and stuff to somewhat hide it to an extent. And that's the finished set. And that's how you catch a shy coyote. I really thought that uh, my bad luck right there was gonna be bad luck again this morning. But last two traps we're walking up to and we got tight chains. Let's go check them out. That thing's a big sucker. Two nights in a row. Got these raccoons on this little bridge they're using to walk on. That's a big old boy. He's trying to get out, but you ain't going to, but I'm sorry. Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, you want to be friends or something? I'm about to make a set that I've never made before. I seen a buddy of mine make it and I was like, that's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to add that to my arsenal. So we're gonna try it out and see if it works because this is also the farm that I've got these shy coyotes on. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. We're at a big intersection. I called a mail down here on the right in a double punch hole walkthrough set that I made. Then I have a dirt hole set over there to my right that I call another mail in on my live video stream on uh, Instagram on Saturday morning. If you did, if you missed that video, oh well, you have to stay tuned for the next one. All right, so I'm gonna start out by putting my holes in the ground because I need a reference point. Like I said, I've never made this set before. I'm gonna put my hole in the ground right there, put a stick to mark it. Another hole right there. Stick to mark it. Another hole. Well, that one's kind of being tough. Right there. This is also going to be a blind set. So we're gonna put our trapper right here. So with being a blind set, what we gotta do? We gotta make it look like it ain't here. So how do we do that? Well, you ought to know by now. But if not, I will show you how to do it. I'm gonna save that grass over here to my left. All right, so we're gonna scoot our pad up, mat, whatever you have, a mat, pad, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna chop this trap bed out and we want to leave as little dirt on the ground as possible right here where our trap's going, as little as possible. But don't throw your dirt out just yet because you are gonna need it. All right, I'd say that's dang near perfect. So now I'm gonna chop out a spot for my shock spring. Notice how every single drop of dirt that I can possibly grab or control is going on this pad. All right, some polyfill. Set. Now we're gonna get our wax dirt. Grab our louvers, pick up on it, give it a little bit of a shimmy. Solid as a freaking rock. And now we're gonna sift only on top of where our trap bed's at. I'm gonna pack it down, avoiding the pan, I'm gonna push down just a little bit, slightly, where the trigger's at. Now all this dirt we had left over, guess what, it's gone. You don't need it anymore. But now, you gotta go get something special. Now we got some grass, it's gonna blend in really nice. You're gonna take your scissors, and you're gonna cut your grass in like half inch to one inch sections. I cut mine about like that right there. You want to try to avoid any big sticks and just get grass. Now we got our grass clippings here. We're going to throw it on there and blend it right in the best that we possibly can. Again, you want this to all look as natural as possible. Pushing it down a little bit so it looks natural. And 
and that grass that I ripped up when I made the trap had a little bit of green in it cut it up now it's not a lot just a little bit it's almost like you're painting paint a replica push down a little bit to where it matches now you tell me if you'd be able to find that trap if you didn't know exactly where it was at so for bait we're going to use some of Dunlap Lures Hostile Gland Lure stick that down in the hole and then for my center hole I'm going to use some Violator 7 by Cavens and in my third hole I'm going to use some Canine Force also by Cavens then I'm going to get three pieces of sheets wool and I'm going to push those down into the holes about two inches or so, not very far. Two inches, three inches, something like that. And that is a finished set. Thank you, Don, for showing me this without showing me this. We'll see if it has, gives me any luck.